Dear friends, in this session we are going to solve problems on Spearman rank correlation coefficient for repeated ranks. So those who didn't watch the non-repeated rank problems, first watch the video and come back to this video. The link is given in the description. There is some. Let us take a problem. Here you see, find the rank correlation coefficient. So, as I said. If the word rank correlation coefficient is there, then only we have to apply Spearman rank correlation coefficient. Otherwise, we have to go back and solve using Carl Pearson. Now, before solving the problem, it is important to check whether any rank is repeating. See, in this case, 64 is repeated thrice. And the very important thing is you have to check the repetitions separately in x alone and y alone. You should not go on. Check this. 68 is repeated twice because I am going to check the repetition only inside x, and I have to record it, and then repetitions inside y. I should not check the repetitions between x and y. Next, we are going to see even if there is one repetition happened either in x or y, then it is going to be repetition problem. Here, in y also, we have repetitions. So let us go and solve the problem. Since x and y are repeated, we are going to use the rank correlation formula for repeated ranks. Now we are going to find correction factor in addition to d square to solve the problem. Now we are going to allocate the ranks for the column x and column y. Here we should be very careful because in temptation we do the errors. First of all. We count how many values are there. So we have ten values. I am going to assign the ranks. Before I go into assign the ranks, write like this to avoid errors. In X series, eighty is the highest value. So I am going to assign the rank one for eighty. So rank one is allocated. I will cancel this rank. The next highest value is seventy-five. But seventy-five is repeated twice. Now. These are the next two ranks which I have to allocate. So I have to take two and three, and I have to make the average of this. It is going to be two point five. So I am going to allocate the rank two point five and two point five, and now rank two and three are over. Next, immediately when I want to go to allocate the next rank, I see sixty eight is the next largest value. Immediately you should not apply rank three because rank one, two, three are Exhausted. So now you have to allot the next rank which is available, rank four. And now I delete this. Similarly, we have to allocate one by one in a very careful manner. Now we have to allocate the next rank. The next highest value is sixty-four. Sixty-four is repeated thrice. So now I have to take. Five, six, seven, and I have to find the average of five, six, and seven. It is going to be six. So I have to allocate the rank six, six, and six. All the three. Now I have to delete this data. The next highest value is fifty-five. So I am going to allocate the rank eight, and I am going to delete here. The next value nine, and the next value ten. So now. In this manner, we have to allocate the ranks. We have to check the value how many times it is repeated. We have to take the corresponding ranks and we have to average it, and we have to allot the ranks. After that, we have to go for the next rank. Hope you understand. Now, we have allocated the ranks for X. Similarly, we can allocate the rank for Y also. Once the rank is allocated for the column X and column Y, as usual process, rank one minus rank two, or rank two minus rank one, because finally we are going to find d square. It is not going to affect the problem. And once you did d square, make summation d square. It is going to be seventy-two. So summation d square is ready. N is ready. Now we are going to bother about the correction factor. So now we have to check. How many correction factors are there? Here, 75 is repeated twice, and then 
next what we see 64 is repeated thrice 64 is repeated thrice similarly uh, in the y column we can see 68 is repeated twice so totally we have three corrections factors for 75 i am going to take this as correction factor 1 for 64 i am going to take it as correction factor 2 and 68 i am going to take it as correction factor 3 so my next job is to find the correction factor n is 10 correction factor in the x series one by one will do since 75 is repeated two times we have to take m value as 2 so the general formula is m cube minus m by 12 since it is first correction factor i will take it as m1 for second correction factor i'll take it as m2 and third one m3 for my convenience so i can find the value by substituting m1 value similarly 64 is repeated thrice i have to find the corresponding correction factor and when you go for y series 68 is repeated twice i can copy the same value and now the correction factor gets over now we will go to the formula we have to add all the correction factors with d square and finally multiply with 6 and then we have to evaluate with our calculator hope now you are confident in doing repeated rank problems now take this problem for your practice so i am going to put the rank for mark in computer science and mark in statistics since it has 8 values in the rough data allocate 8 numbers and then exhaust one by one when you exhaust this proper way you will never have any errors now you can see the ranks and corresponding d square when you go and substitute the values of correction factor with d square we can able to find the rank correlation since it has two repeated values we have two correction factors and r is equal to zero marks in statistics and marks in computer science are not correlated subscribe share and support our channel